Hey everybody, welcome to Beaming Knots and today we're going to look at the critical analysis, theme and tone of Five Ways to Kill a Man, a poem by Edwin Brock. Critical analysis, Five Ways to Kill a Man is a highly ironic poem. Of course, no murderer would ever confess his intentions openly and no common man would advise him on methods of killing either. What the poet is trying to show is how ruthless man has been from time immemorial. He has never hesitated to kill. Even such a great man as Christ had been killed by those who did not agree with his vision. They never understood the fact that Christ was trying to save their souls and so they crucified him. Not only did man not hesitate to kill, in fact, celebrated the killing of others. This is seen in the jousting that happened in medieval England between the knights of rival houses and how their victory was celebrated in form of a banquet thrown by the prince of the winning house. Victory became so important to the man that he could go to any lengths to achieve it. He could live in the underground trenches and bear the ravages of the bubonic plague in order to win a war. He did not hesitate to release poisonous gas in his opponents if that would ensure victory. Finally, man developed technologies to move from harm's way and bring doom only upon the people of another nation. Man relied on his differences to justify this mass murder. However, all these active ways of killing men do not compare to life in the middle of 20th century. Man has made the world such a bad place to live in that his world itself is turning upon him and killing him. Post-World War II, man's own activities have given rise to poverty, unemployment and hunger so that man has no way of escaping from the clutches of death. Thus, man has been served a taste of his own medicine. Poetic Devices Rhetorical Devices Apostrophe this rhetorical device is used when a poet addresses his or her poem to an absent audience. In this poem, the poet uses a device of apostrophe as he addresses his words to every single man on earth, for he feels that mankind has become very ruthless and indifferent to the loss of human lives. Metaphor This rhetorical device is used when a covert comparison is made between two different things or ideas. In this poem, the poet uses the device of metaphor in the third line of the second stanza when he compares the armor of a soldier with a cage made of metal that is holding him captive and not letting him escape so that he is forced to fight for the sake of his superiors only. Theme Horrors of the Past The poet clearly spells out what horrors man has been capable of in the past. Crucifixion, jousting, gas warfare and atomic bombing are all shocking heights to which man has gone in his attempts to kill others who he feels are different from himself. The point to note here is that, with each method of killing described by the poet, the numbers of murdered men are increasing. From a single man's crucifixion, we come to one-on-one -on -one combat where there are one or two deaths in each match. In gas warfare, the number increases to entire squadrons and finally, in atomic bombing, entire cities are wiped out at the push of a switch. Man is becoming steadily more and more ruthless. Horrors of the Present Previously, man could depend on other men to save his life in extenuating circumstances. However, after the world wars, the man could no longer depend on anyone other than himself. No man came to another's aid to fight the after-effects of World War II. Poverty, malnutrition and joblessness killed every man alive on earth while others just watched him die. Hence, living in the 1950s ensures a clean and easy death. This is the fifth and the least complicated method of killing according to the poet. Tone The prevalent tone of this poem is one of irony. The poet is not seriously advising anyone on the methods of killing. He is simply telling us that the world has been turned into a horrible place through man's own actions and now man has to pay the price himself.